Good morning to you. Anywhere you are watching me from, may God bless you as you are tuning in. This is Linda's TV show. Here we bring information across the globe. We educate, inform the members of the public. If this is the kind of content you like, please kindly subscribe. Put on your notification bell to all notification. It will enable you to know when we upload a new video. I put a disclaimer that here in Linda's TV show, we do not preach misleading information. We do not preach hate speech. We do not preach violence. I don't love things. I will never promote them here. We do not instigate war or violence. And a call for self-determination is never a call for war. And I want to seize this opportunity to appreciate you two for creating and allowing us to use their platform to disseminate information to the members of the public. And you and your cabinet for picking up the battle of the graves for our freedom from where our uh, Martin and Okokano left it due to his kidnap and subsequently be betrayal of his eminent cabinet. Dear, dear Prime Minister, we want you to know that we all of your we we all know that your actions you carried out so far it has restored hope confidence and save lots of life of the friends both home and abroad if you can recall when Mazina Mikano was kidnapped lots of people got sick while some suffered heart attacks and some lost their lives due to due to some believe that their only hope of their freedom is gone but your emergence and consistence restored our hope again and you subsequently wiping away our tears with your tremendous new dimensions dear prime minister Biafra republic government in exercise Mazu samonefa until this moment every of your actions has brought us closer to our freedom like never before in the history of this very quest of our freedom. Lastly, we want you to know that we shall always be grateful to Chukwu Kiyadwama for having such an intelligent and brave handsome man in our time. The screen. Turn your phone off. So, uh, take these uh, children, these kids, uh, one after the other, so that uh you know we will hear them we did not hear what they say so from the beginning the uh the one on red uh can start from where he stopped uh so uh, we're not hearing anything at all yes. you are a symbol of hope you are a symbol of hope and if i am to define hope please Hope means a lot of things. If I am to define hope, it's a feeling of hope means a feeling of expectation and desire for a particular thing. So you are a hope. What did I say that you are a hope? You are a hope because our leader, Mazin Namde Kano, who is a prophet, he sees ahead. He has seen the hope in you. And that's why he told the others to listen to Mazin Simon Epa that you are going to bring us a new dimension. This are looking forward to. You are bringing us to a new dimension. New dimension, I mean, is that last year, 
When we are in Finland, when we are in Finland, many things happen there, which I believe it never happened. The new dimension, I mean, is numerous. For instance, the ESL, which our leader Martin Ambekan is suited, the zoological uh, uh, republic, can I say the DOS, people who say that they are fighting for freedom, fighting for freedom, but they don't know, but they don't know what freedom is all about. You have you are bringing a new dimension by from ESN. Now we have what we call DNA, Biafra Liberation Army, which we have, and they are keeping peace in the entire Biafra land. A new dimension. You have gotten us Biafra currency. We have. The Afra Central Bank. We have a few days ago, you have held a force minister, aviation minister, sorry to say. These are the new dimensions that Martin Namikano has seen from you. And that's why he gave us that notion that we should listen to Martin Simon Eva that he is going to bring us with a new dimension. When we are talking about this new dimension, some people may not know what is new dimension. Biafra government in exile, they have made it possible for Biafrans ever in the history, as I am now, I have never voted in Nigeria election. I have never participated. But last month, first of all, uh, that was February, my I voted in our same referendum to exit ourselves from the zoological republic. I voted, and I believe every Biafrans believe that their votes go to count. It's not in the zoo whereby you vote. They don't respect people's mandates. They do what they what they do is they choose who go to be representative. For the masses, and that is not democracy. You are instituting what is called democracy, and we have to know it that this democracy, honestly speaking, apart from the fact that we don't keep a record of that, this word democracy, I should say that it started from Biafra land. Yes, democracy started from Biafra land, but as you said, it our prime minister that we are going to make a history and we want to be written in the history of the Africa. I am asking you all also to make the history of Greece here in Greece, the history of our unit here in Greece, to be written in the history of the Afra book. This is all I have to say. I'm asking, may God protect you and give you more wisdom so that in no distant time we will all rejoice and go back to our fatherland which is called Biafra. May God preserve your life and also bless our everybody that have been and protect the whole Biafra all over the world. Man at Chupo Kikabiam. He said, he said, yeah. again. He said, he said, he said, he said. Item number seven, Prime Minister, over to you. Oh, Baba, yeah! Ye na di ye kwo mu me O ne Those who are present and those watching from the different location In Greece and other parts of Europe And of course 
in Biafra land. I welcome you all today and thanks for inviting me to this particular tour of Greece. As you all know, we are now in the face of progress, in the face of action, in the face of achievement, in the face of what we have to do to continue the delegitimization of Nigeria within Biafra territory. Today, the chain that have hold Biafra for many decades is broken. In the ah! few days, we have seen the upsurge of the Nigeria terrorists, military, and all their prostatals, accomplices in the, in the killings of Biafra, they were all crying, and the cry is just starting. Yes. The killing of Biafrans at will by the Nigeria terrorist state is no longer something they will do and go free. Biafran, killing of any Biafran come with a price, big price, and they are paying it. I want everybody to understand that for the very first time in the history of Biafra, you see what is going on. There has never been any time in the history of Biafra agitation, liberation, that you see what is happening today happening. Because you can't continue to do the same thing and expect results. And because before you fight a country like Nigeria to protect your people, you must be able to study what Nigeria is all about. That is why in the medical field, when you go to hospital, you go to a doctor, they will first of all conduct some kind of test to know what is your problem. Doctors don't just carry you in the hospital and say, oh, you are, what is your problem? You're having a headache, okay, come and take this, or you have a temperature, come let us give you a drug. No, that, that's a quack doctor, that's what they do in Africa. And that's why a many Africa can never progress until Biafra is restored and the beginning of civilization will start. So you have to identify the root cause of a problem before you can now know how to solve it. And that's what the Biafra Republic government in Eza have done. And that's what Mazin Bikano saw in many of us. He knows that the people that surrounded him were a bunch of criminals, a bunch of idiots. Who doesn't know their left from their right? And then he began to shout for 100 men. So first, we studied Nigeria, the complicity of Nigeria, and how to break Nigeria. And believe me, I have not even unleashed the bigger secret. Many of you who followed after where Mazin and the was kidnapped, you all remember the day I made a prayer, I said a prayer for God to give us 1,000 men wisdom to face the challenges ahead of us. Believe me, from the beginning till now, we have always been spiritual. And before anything happens, we see ahead of it. I can tell you today that God did not just give 1,000 men wisdom, but more than 1,000 men. And we are just using only five. We have not gotten to where we can even use 100, not to talk of 500. Today, they are listing the names of people who, according to them, is the problem of Nigeria. And you see, the Prime Minister of Biafra is one of the people that claim are the problem of Nigeria. Rather, Prime Minister Simon Epa came to rescue Biafra from the Nigeria problem. 
which Nigeria and British created. Today, they look for who to blame. They brought criminals and terrorists from Sahel all the way from Central Africa to rig election and remove Jonathan from power. They came, these terrorists came, and they, they were not compensated. And then after that, the people who brought them from northern Nigeria decided to use them for the Islamic agenda. And today, the Islamic agenda is in a very high speed. They look around to who they are going to blame, and they are blaming Biafra. Biafra is not the reason 200 people were killed on Christmas Day in Jos, Plateau State. Biafra is not the reason why many women and children have been slaughtered, thousands of them, from January to 24th day of March 2024 in the northern Nigeria. Biafra is not the reason why Yoruba chiefs and uh, Obas are being slaughtered in their homes by the Islamic terrorists sponsored by Nigeria State. Biafra is not the reason why many people cannot go to their villages in the north, east, northwest, north central, southwest, and even in the southeast. But you see, all these problems they created was the, the, the problem that gave birth to Simon Epa today. Because I said at a point, enough is enough. I cannot continue to watch my people being killed, butchered, and their hair chopped off by the terrorists sponsored by Nigeria State. The one that break the camel back is a story that I would like to share to people of Greece today. In 2021, after the kidnap of Mazen Amdi in 2020, before he was kidnapped or so, terrorists attacked my village, slaughtered people that I know, slaughtered women and men that I know, cut off their head. And these people, I know their family, I know their children. And I watched this video. One of the survival of this attack is still alive today. He saw Nigeria army as part of those who came for that attack. From that day, the anger I have for Nigeria multiplied. One of the victims of this killing by the Nigeria army in conjunction with the Fulani today reside in Libya. He is probably watching this program. His father was butchered, head cut off. These particular killings, I documented it very well. I sent it to the president of Finland. I sent it to the, uh, I sent it to Brazil during the time the so-called Allen White was still doing lobbying with the IPOB name. We compiled those things, sent to the United Nations, sent to everywhere. Nobody has been held responsible today. The next thing was the journalist that reported this killing was banned from entering a Bonnie state government house to report about it. Because the aid they reported about it. So some of you may remember when Omahe banned journalists from entering a boy government house. One of those journalists 
his mother head was cut off this is the first time i am sharing some secret but today from 2021 to this date as you can see nobody have been arrested because nobody would be arrested i decided that in addition to all the killings of their friends from Aba to the invasion of Mazinam the Colonel's house, killing over 28, according to people, they say there were people that were killed at numbers 100. They say it was 28 people that was killed in Oyendu's house. Kopu to Mpo Massacre. This is a direct killing by the Nigeria state, not suspected terrorists or suspected headers. And I pray to God to give me opportunity to defend my people. And that opportunity is here. And I am defending Biafra with brutality. Very brutal. Nobody will kill Biafra again. And live to tell the story. That's why anywhere they are in Biafra land, we will hunt them down. It is the best self-defense. In addition to that, the independent state of Biafra will follow it with diplomacy, political solution, and of course, the defense come with the guerrilla warfare. We are not backing down. You kill us, we kill you back. They have declared that secessionists are wanted. They call me secessionist. Well, you can declare me wanted. We have also declared you wanted. And any place you see these people that are killing our people from Hopus or Dema, arrest them in Biafra land. Any place you see them, any day Tinubu will enter Biafra land, make sure he doesn't go back, we'll arrest them, arrest him. The same thing goes to Shetima. From this day, the target of the Biafra Defense Forces is to make sure that those sponsoring the killing of Biafras will not be allowed to enter our territory. We must not give them a British space. We must not allow them to come to our land and kill and go. The time of that particular issue is over. We will fight them tooth to tooth. We will fight them iron to iron. We will fight them gun to gun. We will defend our land to the last drop of our people. And they are running mad because somebody actually stood up to say enough is enough. For this to happen, we must understand that the enemy has planted this, you know, disagreement, disunity, fighting, and all that within the Biafra people. It is normal. It doesn't move me. It doesn't move anybody who understands what the government oppressors can do in order to weaken the collectiveness and the power of the people of the victim. And that they have done very well. Today, you see people who were fighting for Biafra many years ago. All of a sudden, they are not telling you that Nigeria, they are not telling you. And I want to make it very clear. Nobody owned Biafra. Nobody owned Biafra. Biafra is owned by everyone who believes in Biafra. Nobody is have the, the, the monopoly to restore Biafra. The only thing is that God has ordained some people why giving back to them from the beginning that they are going to be the one that God will use to restore Biafra. And today, we are here. And that's exactly what we're doing. There is no threat that will move us. And please, uh, the media team, look at the comment section and remove the idiot. Our freedom is guaranteed. Guaranteed by the laws, international laws, the United Nations treaties, African Union Charter, and what have you. 
I am promising you today, using this opportunity of this uh, tour to Greece, to promise Biafra people that in a matter of days, we will start the legal process for Nigeria for reparation to Biafra, to Biafra government. That particular reparation will start a few days to come. And the information will be public. We will fight Nigeria from all corners. We will fight them legally. As this particular declaration is approaching, we will make Nigeria very, very uncomfortable. It is going to be the only target we have is to make sure that Nigeria is uncomfortable on the declaration of Biafra. So we are going to fight them from African Union to the UN to any other entity that Nigeria is part of. The process, the next step of this Biafra liberation is the application for reparation. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Prime Minister. Welcome once again to Greece. Item number eight. You well Strophon raising. May I see John? To you, please. Hello, why? Can you hear what you know? I don't got a deal before. This one, TVI, the back wall. Yeah, we. I would like to introduce uh, brother, brother Felix. Mm -hmm. yeah. I would like to introduce Brother Felix on the camera of Hello, Hello, very on mute your microphone. Hello, very on mute, on mute, on mute your microphone. On mute. On mute your microphone. Hello, very. All right. Hello, very. It's good to go. Go ahead. I didn't have to play the way. I didn't have to play the way. I didn't have to play the way. Now, oh my God, there are now balloons here. You can only do anything. Prime Minister Simon Eba, the boundary line has now only with the Raji with the Rando. Yamle Prime Minister Simon Eba, I judge ya. We hand the bondage up to Ghana. I judge ya say Prime Minister Simon Eba, Ibiala, Chineke Kusuni le Kenya. Okay, get I need the 
Um, and uh, we, I present, I present to you our Mazi Paul to give our donation. Go ahead. Oh no, thank you. <laughs> Uh, um, Prime Minister, these names, these names I'm going to call is the names of are the names of our family members here in Greece, and all of them, in appreciation, wants to welcome you by some donations. Everyone has just decided as to give you as part of their call or not. So here are the names. John Abel, 50 euro. Paul Ugu, 100 euro. Ezra Williams. 60 euro. Joseph Davis alone. 50 euro. 
Oketiku Ume Ezimwa. 50 euro. Precious. Obono. 50 euro. Sinedu Okafo. 50 euro. Roland Ugochiku. 100 euro. Samson Ogu. 50 euro. Interface Ojoro. 20 euro. Jessica Chinaga. 20 euro. Chica Okaf. 40 euro. Who changed? Who changed in the way? 50 euro. Sunday, I am the way she. Who changed? 30 euro. She made. She put on so 50 euro. Jude Mooch, 15 euro. Edwin Uzoma, 10 euro. Thank God, Ocho, 100 euro. Chuku Evuka Oba, 50 euro. And if I have a woman, 50 euro. Total is 1,050 euro. Thank you. Thank you very much, Grace. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're gonna go on ahead, go on ahead, go on ahead. Big reason no die in my bum bum bum. Degrees I can opportunity to call Bia France to identify. To the Biafra Lyazen office in Greece. If you are in Greece and you have not done so, believe me, the time will come to be allowed and we will wait for you to pay your dues in Biafra when you will be coming back. So the time is now. If you are in Greece, uh, please call this particular session, share it, let it go to every person, every Biafran residing in Greece. It's time you join the Biafrans in Greece through the Biafra Liaison Office, which will automatically become the Biafra Embassy as soon as Biafra has been restored. Thank you. Honoring this, uh, uh, or rather welcoming our Prime Minister to Greece. Uh, I am very, very proud of this government. Uh, this is the government of the people and uh, uh, the government has shown that its sole responsibility is to make sure that their friends are well taken. Friends who have a mouthpiece, that their friends will be recognized once again as individuals who are able to govern themselves. I want to use this opportunity to encourage their friends all over the world to support the government. We have had our prime minister, he has assured us of consistency, he has assured us of freedom, but we must support these activities. We must make sure that we provide for the men on ground because every bullet counts. Every man must be taken care of on ground. So because of that, we must continue to support the activities of the Biafra Republic of Tenexa. If you have not woken up the reality, please uh, you still have opportunity to wake up to the reality uh, that we are at war and people that are at war, uh, they need to make sure that they provide the men on ground with everything they need to sustain the war 
as long as it would take. So thank you very much once again, our Prime Minister. You have shown that uh, uh, indeed that Biafrans have men and that we are going to follow you. We are going to make sure that everything you need is going to be available at your disposal. We will stand strong behind you. We are going to work effortlessly. Uh, Thank you so much my wonderful viewers for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end like i said before if you like what you see here if you like what i do in this platform as you have finished watching this video please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notifications in that way you'll be able to know when i upload a new video share my videos leave your comments in the comment section constructively until I meet your way again in my next video, I still remain your Linda's TV show. Bye-bye.